Hey everybody, welcome back to theclinicaltrialsguru.com. Again, it's theclinicaltrialsguru.com. So, I got a question just right now from one of my clients. Uh, they're a startup research clinic, and I've already left the office, which is why I'm doing it here in the car. Uh, I'm not driving, don't worry. Uh, so the question, actually, I realize now that it's something that is probably important to a lot of you startup research clinics, um, especially those those of you who just started a site or are about to start a site and are just getting your first study. I do realize there's a lot of you out there and I hope to be able to be your consultant one day, um, but that's just a side note. So the question was, how quickly can I start screening? I got a study, what do I need to wait for? And the answer is it varies, right? It, a, a lot has to do with luck, serendipity of the moment. You might get a study where your site is an add-on site, so you don't have to wait for the investigator meeting and you can get your uh, regulatory documents and your contracts and budgets done relatively quickly. Then they'll come out and do the site initiation visit because they want you to get started quickly because the study's already going on. You're coming in as a backup. You're sort of like the sixth man coming off the bench in basketball, right? The game's already started, right? You you need to get in there. There's already momentum going in the game. There's already a score. All that stuff applies to research as well when you're an add-on site. So if you're an add-on site and speed is what's important to you when you're a brand new site because you need funds because cash is oxygen, cash flow is oxygen, without that you don't survive long, uh, you actually want to look for add-on studies, studies that are seeking add-on sites, right? Now, if it's a brand new study, this is where it gets crazy because depending on where the sponsor and the CRO are, as far as the site selection process, you may have been one of the first sites that they actually toured and did a site selection visit on. So now you have to wait for all the other sites to get selected, then you have to wait for the investigator meeting, then you gotta wait for your site initiation visit. So it could take months. I mean, it's not uncommon to wait three, four months, depending on where your site selection visit happened in the process. And yes, you may have been awarded a study, you may have received the acceptance letter, but it may be another quarter, maybe even longer before you get started. And studies can always get canceled at any time for any reason. So that doesn't happen as often these days. Usually they'll go ahead and go forward with it, but they might take uh, their time when it comes to site selection visits. And I always tell my clients, especially startup research clinics, our timelines, us being the sites, and sponsors and CROs timelines are very different, right? We're not, sometimes we don't speak the same language. When we say we're gonna get started soon, we the site, we mean like a matter of weeks, maybe months. When a sponsor says we're gonna get started soon on a new study, that might be a year, that might be two years, right? So uh, very important to understand where you are in the site selection process. You can always call your monitor and ask them if you're really anxious about it, when are we having our site initiation visit so we can plan, we can allocate resources, we can start training our staff. When is the SIV? And that'll give you a good indication of when you can start screening, right? Hopefully that helps. Let me know if you have any more questions. This is Dan from theclinicaltrialsguru.com. Take care.